Welcome to Musto Invest in Cambodia. In this video today, I will be sharing to you the taxes in Cambodia for any foreigners or investors that are willing to come to the Kingdom of Wanda. But before we start, don't forget to check out our official website in the description below. Like the video, share with your friends, subscribe to Musto Invest in Cambodia. Contact us on our Facebook meta page or Instagram page for any inquiries or questions about Cambodia and let's get started so yes if you come to Cambodia to work you can work only with a business visa this is very important you cannot work legally with a tourist visa and yes the tourist visa can be extended only one time for 30 days so with a tourist visa you can stay for a maximum of only 60 days and talking about salaries if you work for a Cambodian company or you open your own company legally you need to have a working permit and to open your own company you need to have at least a six months multiple business visa talk about salaries you earn at least 1.3 million real per month or around 320 US dollars you don't have to pay any income tax or if you hire people if they make 320 dollars or less they don't need to pay any income tax but if you make 320 dollars to 500 dollars or 1.3 million 2 million real per month you have to pay a 5% income tax if you earn 500 US dollars to 2120 US dollars or 2 million real to 8.5 million real, you need to pay an income tax of 10%. And if you make 2120 US dollars to 3100 US dollars, you need to pay an income tax of 15%. That's 8.5 million real. 12.5 million real. If you make more than 3,100 US dollars or 12.5 million real, you need to pay an income tax of 20%. So in Cambodia, you don't need to pay more than 20% in income tax. The average is 5 to 10%. That's if you work legally. And yes, if you have a working permit, you need to pay to the Cambodian government between 100 to 150 dollars per year if you want to work legally. If you have land and you don't use that land, there is a 2% tax. And the VAT tax in Cambodia is of 10%. If you have residential property, you need to pay 0.2% per year. And yes, if you have a business and you rent a building, a house or anything to run the business, you need to pay around 10% in tax. So meaning, let's say you rent a house for $1,000 to run a business, then you have to pay $100 per month in taxes. If you don't pay, the tax, residential tax, then there would be a 2% penalty per month. That's 24%. That's why it's very important to pay the 10% monthly tax to the Cambodian government. There are other taxes. For example, if you want to buy land and then flip the land, sell it to somebody else, there is a 4% tax. There are also other taxes, but if you have more questions or any other questions, don't hesitate to comment below, contact us on our Facebook meta page or Instagram page. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time.